please use the chat feature. Please use the chat feature. You will find the ch at the, um, your chat button at the bottom of the taskbar on your screen and make sure that your paper and pen ready and take some notes. Near the end of the workshop, we will open up the floor for little questions and answers. And today we're going to have our speaker for our online workshop is Best of Missouri Hands member, Marsha Menendez. Marsha, if you can, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, hey, um, I'm Marsha. I'm a, I'm a fiber artist uh, working primarily in reclaimed uh, fibers. And I'm getting ready to start some new projects. So I hope to be sharing. I, actually, as soon as we get done with this Zoom, I'm going to delve into a new a new thing. And um, hopefully I'll, I'll, you'll see some on my Instagram that I'm going to be sharing what I'm going to be doing. I'm real excited about it. Um, Instagram has kind of always been my, my little thing. I love it. It's my favorite way to waste time um, personally, but I also like do doing it for my business and helping others uh, with, with their Instagrams. I currently have uh, the maximum amount of Instagrams you can have, which I think are five. Um, and uh, I, I run uh, some for shows and I have a personal and then I run the Best of Missouri Hands uh, one as well. So, um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I, I, I picked up some tips along the way. As you can see, I don't have tons of followers, but I do regularly make sales from my Instagram account. So it, I don't have a website. I have a Facebook page. Um, I keep saying I'm going to get a website and I start it and I get overwhelmed and then I chicken out. So that'll hopefully be something I can be working on as well. Um, I am open to all kinds of questions. Um, I will not be looking at them. If one of the others can read the questions to me, then that would be great. I'm going to, you're just going to see my screen. You probably, what you see of there of me on that screen is what you'll see of me. Um, so let's go ahead and start off. Um, I, I, I copied down who wanted me to go over theirs. And so I have Patty, Cindy Canfield, who said she wouldn't be able to be here, but she would watch the uh, video later on. And Teresa Krillin, who uh, did the same. We have Pat Berkligber um, and, and Darla Z I'm sorry, say it again. Berkligber. Yeah. Berkligber. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with Patty because I've started on hers. Um, I, I've, I've done, I have some, you can see I have some, some ones up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to Kristen McMillan. She is um, a Best Missouri Hands person who uh, it does uh, uh, printmaking and she has what I think is a really wonderful Instagram account. She utilizes, she utilizes uh, stories regularly. She utilizes TikTok, which, and, and she also utilizes reels, which I think are huge things. If you look on hers, she's got things that are always moving. She has lots of multi-picture ones. Um, she doesn't use, she doesn't use a ton of, of hashtags. Uh, I recommend they say uh, nine to 12 is the optimum amount to, to use. That's the best amount. I used to say we get 30 hashtags, use all of them, but I think nine to 12 and it's a little, 30 can be overwhelming. So that is hers. She does these. Um, here's a a TikTok. It's not showing up, Marsha. Oh, it isn't. No, we just have a black screen. Oh, oh darn. Okay. Maybe Did you see the again. other one that she had. I, I we see this okay. still shots, but uh, the uh, you just have to hit the the arrow. When it comes to that little, yeah. Do you see it? 
Hopefully it'll start up. Well, okay, well go to her, you can see, I don't wanna to spend too much time, but she does a lot of, she uses TikTok, she uses, she uses stories and, and she posts very regularly. Um, yeah, she posts, this one's from 20 hours ago. So uh, she's, she's one that I think does a really good job on her Instagram account. Um, she's got it in her information there. You can see where she's got her name. She's an artist, so she's got a business account. And she has a little bit about what she does there along with her, uh, her website link. So she utilizes that well. Um, let me go over to Patty. Okay, Patty's got this lovely picture that is of her with a flower and that is very Patty. Um, it's very much Patty. She says she's an artist creating, loving and dreaming and she's living her authentic life. She's got her, she has her, uh, her link to her, her business um, website, which I think is great. One thing I would change is I would change Patty Spiral to Patty Minix so that people who uh, have a business card of hers or only know her name as Patty Minix will know that. I always think that you should have either your name or your business as your main and then have either or the other as on your, your homepage so that they can find you. She has Patty Minix here um, right above artist, but I would say, I would change it to Patty Minix instead of Patty Spiral. Marcia, just, can I ask you a question? Yes. So that is like the username that I signed up to Instagram with. Can uh -huh. you actually change that? Because it took me a while, like where my name is above the word artist. Uh -huh. That used to say Patty Spiral as well. And that took me forever to figure out how to change. Like I finally was able to update that. You can. But the, Pat but the Patty Spiral being like my Instagram handle and that's on all my business cards and everything now. Oh, is it is? It, yeah. Like, so my Instagram is, you know, like Instagram.com backslash Patty Spiral. So that's like on all my business cards. Like that's what I've been using and have established. Would it really, would it be more harmful if I went through and changed that and then would have to basically go through and make new business cards? Well, you have you have Patty Minix on your on your business cards themselves, though, right? Yeah, I I always remember learning that you should have your name and your business. If you since you have the link on your on your business card, I would think that 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 would be that would suffice that you would be fine with that. However, you can go through and change your name on Instagram. Okay, good to know. You, Thank you. You can use change your you change your username. That was you wouldn't you weren't always able to, but you are now. That's one of the things that they changed. So I love how Patty has has kept her highlights. Um, she has she she uses stories a lot. Patty uses a lot of stories, and I think that's great. And um, as something I strive to do more of is use stories. And not just get one photo up on your stories, but to get at least four because people will sit there and I'm probably one of the most guilty people is I will sit there and watch people's stories forever. I will sit there and I will look through. So if you look through and you can look and see who is watching your stories. So you can see who has seen what stories. So uh, you can find that sweet number. If somebody will only watch to about four, then you know that that's your, that's your number. If look, pick two or three people and see, are they consistently watching all of my stories? Everything I post up, are they, are they watching all of them? Or do they kind of peter out after about four or five? You know, then maybe you know that's, that's, that's my, my number I should keep. 
I like how Patty has included other bits of her art in here, but seeing as Patty, what do you sell primarily on, do you sell your collage work on your website? Is that something you are arting for um, profit or for business sake? Um, not yet, but I feel like I'm going that way. Okay. And you will keep, you will keep continuing with cl clay, correct? Oh, for sure. Yeah. So primarily right now, clay is my, I mean, that's what I'm selling. Everything Stop. else is Hold on. exploration. Okay. So my suggestion to you would be to, I love the picture that you have of, I love the picture that you have of your six year sobriety. That tells a, a clip about you. Um, wonderful pictures. It's celebrating, uh, it's celebrating a life success. So that's great. I would probably tone it down some on the flowers. And if you enjoy taking pictures of flowers and like sharing them, I love, I love seeing all those. I would probably, it gets confusing to see flowers, flowers, pictures of you and Roy on your birthday trip, more flowers, a picture of, so you've got, you've got one clay here as your very first one. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 pictures, which are all beautiful pictures. I don't want to discount that. They're all beautiful pictures, but it's confusing if you're using this as a marketing tool as to what you're marketing. Are you marketing pictures of flowers too? Is that something you're going to be doing? Are you going to be doing photography as another part of your art-based income? If, if so, I would suggest getting a different account for that possibly because your collage work and your your collage work and your clay things that you've posted here are very, very, they're very similar. And I don't want to say similar, they, they, they mesh well together. Hey, Marsha, um, I have a question. Uh, yes. Okay, because I do this, I do okay. the same thing as Patty. I enter, weave a lot of my, you know, farm life and with my photography and stuff, how hard is it to set up a second account? And then how hard is it to manage um, to be able to move between the two accounts or whatever? So like if if we dedicated one strictly to not, our not, it's not difficult. It's not difficult at all. I don't know if it will allow me to do it on here since I'm in a Zoom meeting, but let me see. Um, hmm. I can't seem to be, get back to mine. Okay, let's get to my Instagram. So on where I hit this and it says profile. And since I'm in, since I am in um, this Zoom meeting, normally what drops down are all five of my Instagrams. And I can toggle between any of them very easily. Okay. So um it's, it's very easy. Kim, I love, I love how, mm, here we go. I love how you include a lot of your stuff, but like Patty, I, you have a lot of your farm life and a lot of your photography, which is, which is what your, I would keep what you want to sell as, as one main thing. Like, it's a, I've always said it's okay to give people a glimpse into your, your life. You don't want it to become, you don't want it to become um, um, a, a, a very muddy between the two of them. Okay. And, and I, I hope I'm making myself clear on that. It, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and this is great of Patty's hand here. Because it's showing, you know, artwork is dirty. You get dirty when you're doing your artwork. And she's got all these different things. Patty, is this your tangible spirits? Did you do that picture? It's a collage. It's magazine but clippings. It's yours. It's yours I mean, I, I made it with 
magazine pictures. No, that's what I mean. I mean, it's not it's not a book of somebody else's that you just like the picture, so you were posting. no, and that's a multiple one. Like there's <laughs> other like it it goes through one of my collage books I've been making. Yeah, I I I I love and how you have. See how you get down here in your other stuff, in your your later ones. Now, the, your Christmas tree is fine there. I don't have a problem with that. Again, it's a glimpse into your life. You in your studio with your hat on that you probably made yourself. That's great. <laughs> that shows that, again, art is art can be messy. But then you get into to different. Here's a picture of Alice. And I love Alice. I love Alice. But, you know. You, you 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 need to differentiate between between photography if that's what you're gonna if you're gonna focus on some photography I think your um your collage work and your pottery goes very 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 much hand in hand so I don't have a problem with those but I would also include it in your um in your uh top part here um uh, how you have the Heart the Art Studios. I mean, you can clearly see that you are a ceramicist, but you would also want to put that you're also a collage artist too, and and maybe put both of them, loving life as an artist. And then you could put down there too, if you want to say, see for my photography or for my everyday living, you can put a link to that too. So they can follow both of your accounts if they're if they're so inclined, but if you're wanting to sell, yeah. Oh, sorry. That, go that, ahead. Well, what, Allison wants to know, like, if you have a business page, what percentage is, a, is, is like a good percentage of like personal stuff on your business page? Um, you know, like, uh, like once every six mm. posts, you could post a, something personal or, or, or yeah, less than I, that. I, or, think, I, I would, I would, probably not post I'm looking at mine right now and I have I think it's about 15 where I showed a picture of me doing something um I mean uh and then I of course am you know have my causes and so I put my causes every few but that's also within my my uh that's also within kind of my brand too. So, uh, but you can see if you look back on some of them, find find somebody who you think is highly successful on Instagram and look at theirs and see how they're doing theirs. One thing I, I really like about Patty's stuff is she does utilize a lot of, a lot of multiple picture ones. And I think I just made it so you guys are all looking at a black screen. That's, that's magnificent, Patty. I don't, can you see what I'm saying here? Mm -hmm. We see the close up yep, of yep. the leaves. And that's a, that's a magnificent picture, Patty. Um, and if you're planning on doing photography, as I know you do when you help people with their photographing, uh, photographing their, their artwork, but I think I would put it on a different, a different Instagram and maybe, and maybe that way. I think it's great that you have done shout outs to um, other artists on, on your Instagram. I do that as well. And I know, I know, um, I know uh, 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 Kim does that as well regularly. Uh, Kim, I would, I think the problem, one of the things with your, your Instagram is, let me, let me get there. Um, do you have two Instagram accounts, Kim? No, just the, just the one. No, no. Are these all pictures that you, I guess maybe I'm thinking of your, uh, your Facebook cause you do a lot more of your personal stuff on your Facebook. Yeah, but there's- Are these there's, all pictures that you would post for sale? Uh, no, no. A lot of that's just inside life, you know, stuff that happens around the farm. Mm -hmm. There, a lot of it's just snapshots. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, I, I would probably tone it down on the snapshots and have more of your uh, marketable art on on there. Okay. Whatever became of 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 and what did she go? Did you go with Dottie for the for the uh? The oh, dog? for the for the elf. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but his girlfriend or his cousin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna go on to, I think I would, I think it's always good to put like these kinds of things up. This is where I'm gonna be. Yeah. And Kim's done a great job of telling who else is gonna be there. So um, I, think, I think that's a great thing to do. Um, I, I do like to make the uh, collages like this like this with the uh, with the show, the show gra um, graphic as well. So I, you can see, hey, I'm going to be at this place, and here's here's a sampling of my work. Okay. Um. I I I would. Oh. Um. I'll I work on have, that. I'll work on I don't that. Have, Okay, I am going to go over to Darla Zooks. I like how Darla has, Darla Zook is her name. Darla Zook, artist, she's got, a, that tells me it's a business page. She has a uh, brief, a brief caption of what her, her art is and a link to her website. So that's great. I think that she has exclusively used her artwork. And there she is at uh, Plain Art, or yeah, Plain, Plain, Plain Air, is it? Some of it's Plain Air, it's, it's yeah, both. Plain Air. And Marsha, that yes. you helped me create that. So you did that. Uh, I remember that, that was at the, uh, that was at the, uh, uh, the Kansas Con City show, right? At the what? At Powell Gardens. Uh, yes, we worked on it there. We had started it earlier, but you helped me. Yes, yes. Yeah. So that was your work. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, I, I think, I think uh, you have done a great job of, of keeping, you, you know exactly what you're looking for. Let me, let's look at your hashtags here for a second. Yeah, I'm okay. Those, I forget <laughs> to do those. I forget to do those a lot of times. <laughs> yeah. And, oh. and, you know, I think when I originally helped you set this up, I was I was of the thinking that you get 30 hashtags, use all, all 30 hashtags. And now it's so much easier. They say nine to twelve is the max is is the optimal amount. That is the best to do. So, you know, even if you do four, one of them should always be your is your business name, Darla Zook. Yes, Darla Zook uh, artist. Yeah. I, yes, I, you should always put that as a hashtag then. Okay. And I, I usually try to put best of Missouri hands. Um, mm -hmm. this, my thought about hashtags is when people click on a hashtag, they see a lot of other stuff besides mine. You know, if, yes, if I but go, the, they don't, but if they, if they click on a hashtag, they also may find you where, where they hadn't found you before. Okay. So, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna compete with everybody Darla and that's that's the that's the 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 harsh of it is that we're all going to compete whether you're at a plain air competition or you're at an art show or you're on just selling off of your website you're going to be in competition with other people so you know they may not have found you unless they were able to find you through um you know, uh, nature painting or, or watercolor, watercolor painting. Is that mm -hmm. what you do, watercolor? Watercolor, acrylic, sometimes a little bit of water soluble oil, but I just call it oil if I do. Uh -huh. Most of it's acrylic and watercolor. Yeah, if, if I were to look in, in um, watercolor painting or watercolor and use that as the hashtag to search, and mm -hmm. I didn't know you existed, and you didn't use that hashtag, then I'd never know you existed. Okay. But they may find you that way, you know? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So, um, but one thing I would suggest, I went through and looked at everybody's Instagram um, last night and this morning. You, you have um, your, I wrote that you have a good about section, which I think I already said that up there. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I would suggest is do some moving things. Uh, do some, some, some videos of you painting. Do some, uh, do, you know, there are like about a million and two apps that you can use that are free for Instagram. And this, this, is, this is great, Darla, but people today have about a, they have, they have, they want, you know, they want it, they want it, something moving. They, everybody has ADHD. We got to see something. And if I'm looking at all pictures that are just stills, I would, I, something that moves, it's, it's been, it's been um, said that, that moving pictures and, and movies uh, create more interest. Okay. So I would so, utilize so what are some, so what are some apps for that? Okay, let me see. Uh, you can use Boomerang. I love Boomerang. You can just, vi do you have an iPhone or an Android? Android. Okay, so I'm sure there's a movie, a movie uh, um, setting or a, a video where you can video yourself. Through my, through my camera, on my camera. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, Allison's husband, James, did a great, a great uh, workshop using Canvia. And I think a lot of that, you can do that kind of stuff using Canvia. C-A-M. C-A-N-V-A. And, and that you can see, you can see that on our YouTube channel. You can go back and watch his, his, oh yeah. Thanks, Kim. Um, okay. You can go back and, and look at that on our YouTube channel. His, okay. his, I think he did a, a two or three day segment on it. Uh, and, two or and, three okay, so, and his name is James Bringer. James, James Okay. Um, let's look at. So can you tell me how to create more hours in the day? You know what I do? <laughs> this is what I do. I, I, I sit down on Sunday mornings, especially, I mean, I haven't, I have gotten very lax on my on my Instagram and my art in general during COVID because I only show it shows. I have been selling off of Instagram, but I sit down, especially during show season, and I've got two shows that I'm doing doing Instagram accounts for. I sit down and and uh, learn candle roundhouse tape. I sit down and and do them. I can't, I can't, I can't do it in here. I can't show you how to build something in here, but you can, you can save, you can sit there on a Sunday morning while you're, while you're drinking your coffee and, and you can save them. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it is crazy. I have, I will have like during, I do the one for artist boutique and I do, I do the Instagram for um, fall into art. And I will have literally 30 posts ready to go at any given time when it's that time, when it's show time. I will sit down and create, I don't know, five, five to 10 posts on each, each one while I'm drinking coffee. I can waste tons of time watching TV or I can be productive while I sit there and watch TV and create posts. I mean, I think I think as humans we are we we are pretty pretty able to to waste time in a variety of ways. Mm -hmm. It's just how you choose to waste it. Mm -hmm. So I can't tell you how to get more hours in the day. But I, would, I know it's <laughs> called yeah yeah it's it's time management, which is hard for everyone. Um, let's I'm gonna I'm gonna look at two right now that. Uh, Cindy Canfield, because she said she was going to to look at, at the video too, Cindy Canfield. Um, she, Cindy doesn't have anything in her about. I don't know what kind of art she does. I'm, I'm assuming it's, it's uh, she's a fiber artist because she's sitting yes. in front of a loom. Yes, um, fiber. And so she's fiber? Yes. Okay. 
she doesn't have uh, a link to she doesn't have a link to her Facebook uh, business Facebook or or a, a website. So um, activity is the number one thing to get you interest. So you're gonna have to make yourself post. Make yourself post. Um, they say they say three times a week is is the best amount of times to post. During show season, I try and do at least once a day more if I can. There you go. There you go. There, Allison's giving you the, the information. Um, let's go to Allison. Hey, Allison. Allison asked the question, if you don't have a website, can you use your BOMH uh, juried member page? Like oh, yeah. Yeah. I think you did that for a while, Patty, don't you? Or do you have a website that takes you to the BOM, BOMH? Um, I have my own website. I mean, I don't, I've never done any sales through my Best of Missouri Hands page, but I mean, I definitely populate it. And then there's all my links to my website and Facebook pages and stuff through my Best of Missouri page. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's look at. Okay. Pat has, has a picture of herself, which I, I highly recommend either a picture of yourself or a picture of one of your very identifiable pieces of art from, I used to have one of my purses with a scully on it. Everybody who knows me knows the scullies um, or is, knows me as an artist knows the scullies. She has, she's a gourd artist, and then she has it linking to her Best of Missouri Hands page. So that's good on you, Pat. Um, she has- my best, she, my best of Missouri, my Best of Missouri Hands page, on my Best of Missouri Hands page, when you click on your, um, a photograph of your art, you know, and then it gets bigger, and then there's a little spot beside it to describe that art. Uh -huh. So I describe, you know, what kind of gourd it is and how and it was made and whatever. But then I also put a price there mm -hmm. and I have sold, I don't have, that's my only website, um, but I have sold two pieces from my Best Missouri Hands website. Good. Yeah. Good. But I think um, your price on there helps that. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. Your work is just beautiful, Pat. Thank um, you. I like how you do multiple pictures. These all look like, these all look like pictures that from, for the most part, with the exception of the one that's an, a work in progress, um, they all look like they could be jury shots. I mean, they all, they're all very, very good, very good pictures. Uh, you started your Instagram um, in, let's see, February of, of 2020. So yeah. one thing I would suggest is posting at least once a week, posting at least once a week, and then some moving pictures. You've utilized all the, all the, you know, pictures that you can do. You can do multiple pictures. <laughs> that's, a, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> um, but I would, I again would say, do some moving pictures, post pictures of pieces in, in progress, works in progress and use that hashtag, uh, hashtag WIP. How, how, how are your hashtags? Oh, gourds, gourd art, best of Missouri hands, straight artist. Very good, very, very good. Yeah, um, you know, uh, Missouri made support local artists. Yeah, she can do it. You could do a, a video do, or do um, pictures of all of yours as you're going through them. Um, like, like uh, here it is when it first starts. Here it is after I've got the design drawn on it. Here it is as I'm carving out pieces of stuff. And then do that over several days. Do little videos. Do um, do little things of uh, uh, little um, um, hyperlapse of you doing it. Do you have, does everybody have a stand 
that you can put your phone on or your iPad on and, and video you while you're, you're doing your work. Um, there's one more that wanted us to look at her. I have a question. Okay. And, and I know everybody's tired of hearing this question, <laughs> but on my followers and the following, um, generally, like if I says 168 followers, I had over 200 a bit ago, but I've been blocking people because they're all these strange, you know, just creepy men is what I call yeah. them. Yeah. So they're, do you, do you go through, lot, so. do you go through and block or do you say, who cares? I, I say who cares unless I will block the ones that, that, that PM or DM me and say things like, um, um, say things like, uh, uh, Hey, uh, uh, um, how are you doing? You look very beautiful. I'll block those ones. I'll block those ones. But if they're just following me and they're waiting for me to follow them back, I, I just, live and let live on that okay. but, but the creepy I, one I looked at, yeah I, I looked at other people's accounts and at their followers and I don't see that I don't see like mine is just man after man after man after man after man after man there's very few that are like artists or and then so then I started looking at who are they following and if they follow a lot of artists then I've left them <laughs> but uh -huh. if they don't if they just follow a lot of sexy women then I block them but I, I don't spread. I don't I don't really care because to me that's more work than it's worth they they're trying to get you to interact with them and chances are they're going to unfollow you in a couple days anyway okay that's why your number goes down so often I have people say well I had 500 followers like two weeks ago and now I'm down to 449 it's because people are wanting to get follows they're wanting a follow for a follow or you know, whatever that is. So okay. um, hold on. I got somebody who's asking me something. Kim, can you tell me what you said? Uh, it's just, we have two more pages for you to review, Marcia, whenever you're ready. Teresa Killian of Killian Pottery. Who is? Huh? Uh-huh. And then Cheryl Val. And who was the other one? Cheryl Val. Oh, I didn't have that one. Well, she posted okay. last night. Teresa, Teresa. Okay. Um, Teresa is like, like, is, is like uh, Cindy. Uh, I like her cat. I really do. Hey, Marsha. I, I love her pottery. I'd love to see. Her. Yeah. Go to Killian Pottery. This one's her personal page. Oh, that might. Be yeah. Go to Killian Pottery. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. That's a little different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, she's done a great job. She has a picture of her there throwing, and there she's got some of her flowers. She's 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 interacting with. She's selling things on here. I don't know what happened there. She's selling things on here. She has a picture of how her pottery can be utilized. Love the picture of her dog with his stuffed toy on him. I, I think I think things like that are great. She's done a really good job. Let's see her interests are she's got 138 posts. She's got a really good amount of followers. She's following lots of people. So that's good too. I don't, I don't, I don't have any problem with people following more. Um, I'll I'll get that to that in a second, Pat. Um, I don't have a problem with people following more people than they have followers. She has some of her hashtags there. I don't know that that's any, any, um, in, I had originally said, put your hashtags in there. And I have, have since discovered and read in different places that now you don't really want to put your hashtags there. I mean, if they're following you or they found you, they know, they know you're a, a potter and they know what kind of stuff you do. Um, I would suggest that she puts a website there or a Facebook page there if she has either of those. I like how she has her highlights and she's, it looks like there that she's using um, her Instagram. So uh, it looks like she, or she, it looks like she's using her stories. So I like that, um, but she's got, she's got a good amount. 
I think she needs some moving, some moving pictures. Um, oh, highlights. These, these things where they say highlights and they have the little circle, those are um, stories that she's done at one time and have chosen to save. And so they stay in your highlights. You don't, have, you don't wanna do that for all of them, but you'll wanna do it for some. I use a lot of my stories for, uh, I'll, I'll post a lot of stupid memes. I'll, I'll post, that would be a good, pick, a good place for you, Patty, to post some of your flower pictures. If you really wanna share your flower pictures, um, which are very shareable, I would post them there. Um, one thing I really like about, high, uh, about stories is you can use, um, you can use uh, uh, the little moving cartoons to help enhance those. And they're a lot of fun, the GIFs to GIF. But I think she's got, let's see what this is. This looks like this is a movie. but it's a movie of a bird. <laughs> so, yeah, but I would put, I would suggest that she post some movies. And, and if you watch this later, Teresa, I would post some of you throwing because watching people throw pottery and do pottery on a wheel, I, I have no desire to ever do pottery I can watch people throw pottery on a wheel for hours. Matter of fact, Instagram for a while mistook me for a potter. They, I, they just kept, I kept getting all these pottery things coming up and, 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 and it was funny because I would, I would literally, I find them so soothing and people that do that, I don't know what the, what the rapid movement thing is that people use to help soothe themselves. I would use those pottery videos. So um, do you have any of those on yours, Patty? Do you have any of those of you throwing? I'm not a thrower. You, you don't throw. Okay. Well, I should say I am about to embark trying the wheel again after many, many years because it's tough, but I agree. I can go down there and watch Roy throw on the wheel and just, it's hypnotic. I love it. It is, it is absolutely hypnotic. And I think potters that aren't utilizing if they use a wheel and do you do you feature things on your instagram page that uh roy has thrown or roy has made um not very often i have pretty much look at my instagram page as a snapshot of me as artist you know, I feel like I utilize my my Instagram page to spotlight the person I am and my art being, you know, one of the elements. Every once in a while, I might share something of his, but his is predominantly on the Facebook or the website. Okay, okay. So what are you hoping to achieve with your, um, with your Instagram page? Are you wanting to sell from it or are you wanting to... You know, that, that makes me, I, I, if you're using it as a snapshot into your life as an artist, then maybe keeping all the pictures of your photography and, and all that in there might be for you. Um, if, if you're wanting to do it as a, a means of selling your work, then again, I would suggest getting, um, doing a separate page for, for your, your, uh, uh, personal stuff. I mean, that's just, if you are wanting to do it for a snapshot and you're not wanting to use it as primarily a sales tool, then by all means continue, um, you know, if it brings you joy, continue it the way you are. You have- Yeah, and that that's predominantly how it's been for me. And ironically though, I've done sales from Instagram because people have messaged me about things that I've posted. Um, but I, you know, I, I predominantly use the website or, you know, my Facebook business page where I'm doing more sales where Instagram, and that's how it's always been for me from the beginning. It's, it's just kind of a fun way to, you know, post pictures. So <laughs> I, I, understand. I, I love hearing all this information. It's so helpful. 
Um, okay. Shh, shh. Um, <laughs> I just put it in the uh, vowel, or vowel Cheryl. Vowel. Yeah, I just put it in the chat. Okay, let me get there. Here it is. Okay. 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 I'll I'll do yours too. That's fine, Allison. Um, documenting her return into glasswork. Okay. One thing I noticed. I see, she's got gmail.com. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That gmail.com. Gmail no, no, no. Yeah, what gmail.com? Does yeah. she have a website? Does she have a Facebook page? That would be either one of those would be better. Um, I wouldn't put an email address there simply because people can message you directly on Instagram. So it's if they're, you know, I'm I'm much more likely if I'm on the page to just message them directly through there. Um, I like that she's she has lots of really lovely close up pictures of her work. She does have moving things. Let's see. Yeah, I have a, I have a question about messaging on Instagram. How, okay. How do you where do you find that? Um. Okay, so if you. Uh, it, this is giving an abbreviated kind of snapshot here, but there is a, oh, see where you see the little airplane, the little paper airplane on, I pulled up this, this page or this picture that mm -hmm. uh, Cheryl did. And yeah. you can see the heart, the comment, and then there's a little paper airplane there. That, that's okay, the, that's the message? No, no, that, that's, uh -huh. that actually that's will send message. And, that, oh, I think that, that sends right, that you're post. Right. That's yeah. to send it to somebody. Yeah. Uh, it should be. That's to send it to somebody. Down, yeah. down. I wish I could wait. Let's see. I think it's at the bottom. No, it's, it's, it should be like right underneath. Yeah, um, following message there. Oh, yeah, contact. So I, I have a, I have a picture of a house. I have a, a you know, an. I thing that you search with. Where Kim Carr is at, she's showing you. Oh, where, let's see, Kim. Following message. Well, yeah, Marsha, there's... on your screen where there's the little home next to the little house that's on the top of this uh, screen we're currently looking at. Got it. Right, that little conversation bubble. Got it. There, those are, that's, but when you're on an artist page, there will be uh, something that says message. It, and for some reason, it's not coming up on this, in this format, in this format. Like, and let me see, um, hold on just a second. Um, Darla, it should, Darla, if you're on a, an artist page on your phone, it should show a yeah. message. I'm, yeah. I'm looking at my Instagram on my phone. Okay, look at somebody else's Instagram. Yeah. Then at the bottom, at the right under their right, right. under their um uh, under their uh their about info, you'll see following message, email, and then a little a little arrow that points down, and it will show you people that they like or like kind of art, and and it should be on their homepage. That okay. you can you can. So okay. Um, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna search for Kim Carr. Mm -hmm. Okay, go look at Kim Carr. Yep. Okay, Kim Carr photography. And then underneath, underneath it should say like following, uh -huh. follow, following or follow then, message email. Okay, yep. so how do I find how do I find things that people have messaged me? Then you go up to your little your little conversation bubble, where I brought that up right here. See on the screen that's gotten dark. 
and here are all my conversations off to the left. Okay. Then, and, and it will say on the heart part here on your screen, so-and-so messaged you or so-and-so contacted you. Yeah, but I never know how to find it. Uh, <laughs> I never know how to find, I don't know how to find the message. Right. Okay. That, you, see that, you see the house and then the little circle with the, with the little lightning bolt type of thing in it, that's where they would be. Okay, so you know, can I do this? Can you? I, you I cannot, but I cannot see it, but look on the screen and see at the top hand right side, you see the little house. It should be yes. at your home. And then, and then there's a little, a little circle with a, with a, a like a little lightning bolt right in there. it. And look at my, if you look at my screen, that. Say the lightning okay. bolt, and I have a message. Yeah. And it will have that on there when you have a message. Uh, but I'm on my home screen. I noticed that if you're on your home, like I hit the home and then uh -huh. there's like where I can put my story in and everything, but it's up above where it says like Instagram on that home one. And that's where that little lightning bolt shows up. Okay. Boy. <laughs> Let's look at Allison. Okay. Don't laugh, guys. Allison, Allison Northrate Bringer, and she's got her name there, Allen B Collections. So that's that's fine. Is that the name of your business? Yeah, Allen Collections. So Allen, Allison, does it matter if it's an iPhone or an iPad or an um, Android? No, it shouldn't. I mean, it may be in a different place, but it should still be the same. She has her, her, <laughs> I like that, <laughs> wife and fur, fur mom. Um, okay. okay, I'll work with you a little bit later. If you guys have an Android, I'm happy to work with you, you guys a little bit later. Okay. Um, she has, she's a mixed media assemblage and her, her, she has her hashtag, her branded hashtag there. Good, Allison. And uh, her uh, link to her website. I love how you do all these um, all these uh, screenshots into what you're creating, Allison. I love how you do that. And you show how these things are being created. Um, you've been doing a lot of that since you've been doing these uh, wall, wall art as well, haven't you? Yes. And then the piece of jewelry. Now, does the piece of jewelry go in there? Yeah, that's, and that was finally the piece of jewelry I wanted to show that being actually made so they understand that that is all created and I didn't just, you know, grab something and throw it in the nest. <laughs> so uh, you have your branded hashtag there. I think you have a wonderful use of, I think you have a wonderful use of hashtags. Okay. You, you have shown, you've got a, a movie here. As, yeah, I was curious about the whole idea. I'm trying to see which posts get more play. And I notice sometimes for me, if I just put a separate picture or multiple, just but just a shot, but multiple, that seems to get more play than the ones when I set it up with a, with a graphic, which is interesting. I was just wondering, was anyone else running into that? That you're getting more play on multiple pictures versus um, something that's moving? Um, no, well, sometimes even with that, but where if you go down where it says new tech items from ALMB collections, like you're going down, it was my um, Society Six one. Oh, okay. Sometimes when I make a graphic, uh -huh. that I have only 10, where if it's just a photo by itself, of just a piece, then that'll have 30. And I'm just wondering huh. what's, I'm like going, well, am I doing something wrong? No. I love how you've, put, you've done your picture. You know, I think it's great that we show pictures of ourselves too. I, I don't think we need to overwhelm everybody, um, but I think your quality of pictures is, is outstanding. Your quality of pictures is outstanding. Um, 
I think your I think your your uh, your Instagram looks great. Now, do you ever get people who want to buy from you on Instagram? No, not exactly. No, no. See, that's okay. see. I don't know how to transfer them over to what you guys are saying. I I and you know what? I don't have an Instagram shop, but they do do those now. Your mom was so glam. Yeah, she was so glam. That's my heart. Um, I, but um, I want to show you a little something that I did. Now, a lot of people say uh, that this is not, not recommended, but I follow this woman who is an Instagram influencer and her whole shtick is that she, uh, she does thrifting. She does a lot of thrifting and then she'll resell it. And that's oh. her whole thing. Well, I've followed her for a long time. So one day I was watching her stories and she had that she had gone to the thrift store and then she, her whole thing is like kind of along my same line um, that we need to say, help save the earth. Okay. And, and so um she she was coming out of the the thrift store and she had a big plastic bag so i contacted her and i said oh girl i love what you're doing but you're walking out with a giant plastic bag that's not right let me send you one of my bags and and then you can use it when you go to the thrift store so i did let me see if i can bring this up so and i hope you guys can oops let me see. Oops, no, I need this one. So, well, anyway, she. Oh. Huh. How do I get this? Why am I having trouble with this? She did a shout out to me mm -hmm. on on Instagram. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this to go again then. It's not going to go. But she did a shout out to me on her her Instagram and um um I ended up making a bunch, uh, several sales off of it. Some people, a woman contacted me and said, I love, I love what you do. I would like to buy a purse. So here's a purse that she did. Here's another purse I sold. So it, it, it ended up being very profitable to me. And, and it was, it was just nice. And it, it was a good way. I did it all in my stories. And so then she showed that after she had gotten it and took it thrifting and showed it in her stories and uh, and I got some sales off of it. So, and then I, you know, you can see I, I have my, my pieces. My internet is being slow. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's not wanting to show you, but I had some pieces that I showed the work in progress. So, but, that's that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I did this on reels of me putting up my canopy. Um, well, I'm trying to play with reels and do reels. Reels is uh, um, Instagram's reels is Instagram's um, answer to to uh, TikTok. And, and it needs to be utilized and, and should be utilized often as well as stories. So, and you can share, again, you can share all of that over to your stories will go over to your Facebook page. Your posts will go over to your Facebook page. I don't know about the reels. I haven't looked at that, but um, link those pages and, and that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Is, do you guys have any questions? I I actually do. When you just talked about the TikTok, I mean, do you have to because avoid uh, getting another 
account and another thing to try to learn that. So I'm trying to learn TikTok so then I can make a video like that. I did, I didn't put it on my Instagram yet, but I did try time lapse with my phone and that was really, really cool. So maybe I'll try it that way. But is there, I mean, so you're saying reels is that answer to TikTok? So if you don't want to have to reels go is, another account with another. Absolutely. Reels is, reels is, is TikTok came along. Instagram had Instagram TV and I've done that. And I've done, I've, I figured out how to do Instagram live. So that was kind of fun too. Um, but Instagram TV and then TikTok came along and all the kids started, all those crazy kids started using the, the TikTok. And so then Instagram started reels and, and I do, I've done a couple reels too. So I, I'm, I'm not going to, I can spend hours in, in Instagram, just looking at stupid stuff, but I, I don't think I'm going to take up another, another, uh, form of media. I, I, I personally can't do it. So <laughs> I was going to ask, has anyone done TikTok? Yeah. Uh, Kristen McMillan does it. Kristen McMillan does TikTok. And I think she does a really good job of it. And then she somehow pushes her TikTok over to her Instagram. Okay. So, and she does, she does a great job. And another one who I haven't seen very active on Facebook lately is a girl named Little Gnome Art. And she's, I believe, a best of Missouri hands person as well. But she did a lot of, of uh, she does a lot of stories and a lot of TikToks. And she, I think she does TikToks or reels. Um, but she, uh, she, I haven't seen her on Instagram very much lately. So I'm wondering if she, you know, life got to her, you know, as people, as it, as it does. So, but I hope you guys learned a little bit of something today. So, um, you know, use those hashtags. Don't use oodles and oodles of them. Give people a, a glimpse into your life, um, but don't make it about your life. Unless Patty, that's what you're wanting to do. I mean, if that's, if that's what your Instagram is about, then I apologize. My apologies. So I think, um, I think for me, So anyway, I hope you guys learned. Yeah, I, I think for me that incorporating my personal life about the farm is beneficial for selling of my artwork because um, people appreciate the fact that I am a farmer. Um, I, you know, so, so these animals that I know and Absolutely. stuff like that. So, so I think that's, but I like the look of Darla's page real well because I mean, it was obvious she's a painter. I mean, there's no, you know, there was no ifs, ands, or buts there. So I, so I like that. So I'll, I'm going to think about mm -hmm. it, but uh, I definitely know um, incorporating my personal life in there. And, and, and plus two, I, I take tons of pictures, <clears throat> but only a, a small fraction of that are things that I consider fine art and would want to sell. And so I would have a lot of gaps, you know, and I like to try to post regular. So I do that by using my stories from the farm so but i i understand what you're well, saying and I, I i i think also kim you use you use your life to sell your art and maybe that's maybe that's what you're going for patty for using here is my here is my life as an artist and that is used as a platform to boost you know i think the one thing i've noticed about your art kim is that people are buying a story right. too with with your photog with your photography? So they're buying a whole story, and and that could be that could be used as yours as well, Patty. They're buying a whole story that and and so many of us are just we're multifaceted. We have many different types of art. Um, you know, you may I started out as a glass artist, and 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 have evolved and now I'm getting ready to go into another type of fiber art it's st it'll still be fiber art but it'll still be it'll it'll be a different different a departure from what I'm using now what I do now so um, also Patty Pat Pat has a question how do you sell from Instagram 
do they well, go to some place to buy somewhere else to buy that buy the item what i have done and i have sold lots i've sold lots from instagram what i have done is people contact me and they dm me and then i just do it through paypal does that or, answer or, your question darla oh pat or or you could direct them huh? to your website however you normally sell yeah you know I, yeah, what, whatever works for you, like yeah. I just said. She it, just, it yeah, that, that's what I've done. That's what I've done with mine, where I've done sales. If people have said, oh, I really like this, they message me and I say, okay, I'll put, you know, like I'll create a special item just on my website, which is real nice. And then I just direct people there so then they can pay through that. Do you put the price tag? I mean, do you put the price on your photos? Like not mm -hmm. on it physically, but in the description, are you putting the price of it? I have not. Every once in a while, I'll do it. Like if I'm doing a big post on my Facebook business page, like if it's, you know, I'm featuring Roy's mugs or whatever it might be, I'll add the, the price there. But with my Instagram, I only will discuss price if someone reaches out and asks me about it. And then on a, on a direct message, then, you know, we'll that's, discuss the price. I think that's usually what I do too. I don't usually list prices. Um, if somebody says they're interested in something, then um, I can, I can, I can, they can message me. Also from that one post on that, that um, the one that I sent to the influencer, I've sold, I've sold five handbags, five handbags from that now. So it's, it's it was um, it was kind of nice, and and one of them was another artist. So I, I always I'm always I'm always so touched when another artist buys my work because you know we know how hard we work for our work yeah. for our money, especially since 2020 hit. <laughs> so, but anyway, that's you know it, it's nice. It's nice. Did we get everybody's Facebook page that or or Instagram page that wanted to be looked at, Kim? I, you know, I think so, because um, you got Teresa Killian and Cheryl that aren't on. Um, and I got covered everybody that's here. Uh huh. So yeah, I think you did a good job. I appreciate you. Yeah. Taking time to go over these things, because you know, the the more you hear it, and and uh, you know, the easier it gets implanted in your head, and you see what other people are doing, like like Darla's page. Like I mean that truly was impressive i i mean i've seen her page but i haven't yeah. looked at it with the eyes that i was looking at it today so, and and there is no doubt she what of what she does yeah. so i that was impressive i like and and the yeah. same with pat i mean her page i mean it's you know it's all gourds and stuff so and and i love allison yeah. what she's doing with all the and the thing like, like work in progress and stuff that's fantastic so you know I love watching it works in progress. Yeah. I, I would suggest more people do that. And if you want to just do it in your stories, do it in your stories that way. At least people can see. And I hope it, I think it helps people understand how much work goes into. Yeah, sure. I mean, you look at that and you may go, gosh, that's a mug. How, how, how why is a mug so expensive? I don't know how expensive Roy's mugs are. But, you know, I remember a potter saying to me one time, Everybody wants to trade for a mug when she does trades and tra and she goes, mugs are my most labor intensive thing to do. And, and so when she did a trade with me, I'm like, oh, I'm not taking a mug. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, Marcia. So, anyway, it was just on, on the, uh, on yes. the stories. I, I know like on Instagram, if you do a video, it should be like under a minute. Are, are the stories do they have a time limit you should try to stay within? You can, what it will do is it will chunk it up into different, so it'll take it the whole way. Or if you want a longer one, do an Instagram TV. Okay. Oh. Do it on Instagram TV. And, and I think Instagram TV can be up to 60 minutes. Wow. So, I mean, wow. I, I think, I did the Instagram TVs that I've done, I think were about maybe 10 minutes, but I think I re remember reading somewhere that they can be up to 60 minutes. 
And then I don't, I don't know if there's a time limit on live. Okay. So. All right. Can you take and, I and know I that how to slide. Mm -hmm. oh, I know with the stories, they are like, it's a minute. They're like four, 15 second blocks. So like I had a video that was, you know, that I had taken on my phone and I wanted to put up on the stories and just say it was like a minute, 30 seconds. It will only take the first four 15 second blocks oh. and it will not oh. post the entire thing. Same thing. I think there's also kind of a thing going now where if you are filming it specifically for your story, it's the same thing. It only works in four 15 second blocks and it doesn't continue. So like when you're like, if you're filming yourself on the video feature for the story, you have to somehow like keep pressing a button. Like I usually just, I, I make my own videos just with my camera and I'm just, I always am mindful to keep it under the minute time frame if I know I want to put it up in the stories. In that case, I would I would suggest doing it in Instagram TV. Yeah, I haven't done the TV yet, so I guess that that's uh, a new challenge. <laughs> well, also you can also post it on your on your page, and, and it will keep it in your Instagram TV. Or, or I don't know what the time limit is on Reels, so that might be another option too to do. So just thought, food for thought. Okay, so. and 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 another thing too that I'll yeah, throw well, in there. Thanks so much for all the info. Yeah, I, 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 Pat, on your question on how do you sell from Instagram, they do have a store that you can create. Um, if you want to do, yeah, if you want to do that, you could create a store on on. Uh, on Instagram and uh, sell through it. So that's another option. But yes, Marsha, thank you so much. I think you have to have a, I think you have to have a Squarespace store for that. I think that's how that's linked because I looked at it. Okay. I yeah, I haven't looked no. into it. I just I don't know. Um, I, I mean I, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to, to contact me um, on Facebook or email me. Um, I'm happy to help if I'm, if I'm able to. And, and if I'm not able to, then I, I, I utilize the Google a lot. All right. So we had Marcia Menendez with us today of A&M Accessories and uh, talking about uh, Instagram and, and uh, how, to, how to better market. So we appreciate everybody being here today and have a great day and we'll see you on Instagram. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>